I've got some pretty exciting news that I haven't really shared on any of my social media accounts. And I thought, you know what, why not share right now? This coming November, I will be in Seattle for what's called Creative Constructor Lab, put on by ISTE, which it stands for International Society of Technology and Education. I will be presenting two days. I'm going to be sharing on telling stories using video, and then we're gonna be doing some photo walks. Pretty excited because I've never been to Seattle, so I'm looking forward to November. So I'll definitely be sharing some photos as I go about the city when I arrive there. You know what, let's go ahead and run the intro. What's up everybody, Claudio here, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to share with you how you can use live photos from your iOS device and incorporate them into an app called Adobe Spark Post. If you haven't used Adobe Spark Post, you've got to use it. If you if you run a business, uh, you have social media accounts, if you're a school, university, it's an amazing app, you gotta try it out. Here's a link to a little quick tutorial I created some time ago, uh, if you can check it out up here somewhere. I'm calling it a hack, but really it's not. It's a feature in there that I don't think a lot of people know about it. So I thought, you know, why not create this real quick video so you can uh, use this feature. It's really, really cool. Uh, so let's get going. Let's call this the live photo Adobe Spark hack. All right, before moving on, I'm going to step outside and take several live photos so that I can use in my examples. I'm going to take some in landscape and portrait and I'll explain why later. So I'll be right back. Now that I've taken several live photos, let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Spark Post and work on this hack here. Launch Adobe Spark Post, then at the bottom there's a green plus sign. You're going to tap there and then go to Photo Library. Scroll through your different albums, pick Live Photos, and there you see the different live photos that I've taken. I'm going to go ahead and choose one of them. Let me go ahead and do this landscape one here. And then tap on the upper right corner where it says Add One. It's asking, do I want to use this live photo as just a static photo? or do I wanna use it as a live photo? Here's the key, you wanna choose live photo. Now here's the, the part that I was telling about taking landscape and portrait photos. You can decide which one to use. If you wanna use the original size, there it is. If you plan to share it on Instagram as a post, it will crop it out for you. If you wanna go and use it as an Instagram portrait, it will do that for you. Instagram stories and so on, or if you wanna use it on Twitter, whichever uh, social media platform you wanna use, or you just wanna export it as a video. So now I'm going to customize this text and add my own. Um, so here I'm gonna do that and let's go ahead and change colors here, make it more visible. You can change the shape of it. Let's go ahead and use a square and then customize the font to your liking. Once you have it the way you want it to be, on the upper right corner, click on share. And then one last thing here, you wanna make sure that you choose video. If you click on the image with no animation, you're go basically going to get a static image. So I'm going to click on video and let Adobe Spark Post do its work. Lastly, I will save the video, copy the link, share it directly to Instagram, or save it for another time to use on different social media platforms or maybe on a website. I'm gonna go ahead and click save video, save to my camera roll. So let's go ahead and take a look at the photo itself and let's see what it looks like. So there we go, it's got a video button to play and there is the final product. And that is how easy it is to hack a live photo and use Adobe spark post to create a little short snippet video using all your live photos so many ways to use this hack create a series of short stories using live photos to promote your business on your different social media sites create your own stories using your own live photos to share with others share your students work as short snippet stories that you can show their parents so many different ways to use this hack to share stories. If you have another way, please do comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, my friends, peace out.